Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to show you guys which fragrances that I love to wear in the springtime and also the ones that I highly recommend you try if you are searching for a new springtime favorite. So I'm going to get started right away because there's heaps and heaps of fragrances in front of me. So the first one I have here is called A Pomme Pour Femme by Maison Francis Kirkjian. This is a very, very simple fragrance to wear. It's non-offensive, it's elegant, it's classy. It's considered to be a yellow floral, white floral, woody, sweet citrus scent. To me, it's a an orange blossom heavy type of scent. It's got cedar, ylang ylang and amber. It's very simple and very, very classy. Um, it's very feminine as well and I love to wear it in spring. Here we have Mulholland by Kiko Macheri. This is a sweet citrus um, type of fragrance. It's very zesty. It's a little bit spicy and woody as well. It's considered to be a citrus aromatic. It's lightweight and breezy and very easy to wear. It's a little bit on the masculine side, like a cologne type. Um, but yeah, so it's quite unisex. Um, so if you don't like um, those overly sweet type of citruses, then this one's for you. Next one is by Bond number no. 9 and it's called Highline. This is a green, fresh floral. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, citrusy scent. Absolutely perfect for the springtime. And as you can see on the bottle, it's got those flowers and the grass. That's what it smells like to me. It's a little bit sharp, uh, a little bit crisp. Just a, a regular fresh floral kind of a scent. Um, it's it's very easy to wear, um, like the other ones I've mentioned as well. It's um, not cloying or heavy. It's inoffensive. So yeah, another great springtime favorite. This one is Magnolia Noble by Aqua de Palma, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful fruity kind of floral scent. It's citrus floral, white floral, woody and aromatic. It's so delicately beautiful guys. It's on the feminine side of things and it it's just a beautiful magnolia scent. It really is. It's kind of rich and creamy and sophisticated and elegant and it's just so feminine to my nose. It's just a beautiful, juicy kind of white floral. I love it. Another beautiful white floral is the Giorgio Armani Vert Malachite. First of all, the bottle, it just, it just screams out spring, you know, the color, the green. I love it. I love this fragrance so much. It's considered to be a white floral, yellow floral, citrus, vanilla, sweet scent. To me, it kind of smells like it has tuberose in it, but I don't think it has. But it's got this kind of like, if you've smelt the kind of bubblegum tuberose, then it's kind of like that. It reminds me of bubblegum as well. So this one is like a sweet, milky, white floral um, that dries down to more of a sweeter benzoin vanilla kind of a scent. But... It still is perfect for spring because of those beautiful white, creamy white florals. I love this. I just really, really love it and I enjoy wearing it in spring. Next one is Diorella, the beautiful Diorella by Kristen Dior. This is considered to be a green, citrus, woody, white floral. It's a little bit earthy. Um, this fragrance was launched in 1972, so it's not a new one. Um, it's quite strong, quite uplifting. Um, it's got this bitter type of fruitiness from the melon and the peach. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but when they used to put fruits in fragrances in those days, in particular, they used to use a lot of peach. Um, and their fruits were different to today's fruits, the notes. They weren't as sweet. They were more bitter than anything else. 
Um, so this is a little, a little bit bitter, a little bit green, um, mossy kind of fragrance. Absolutely classy, absolutely exquisite. It's not sweet, so if you like your bright green floral types of fragrances, you would love this. Um, it's not for everyone, so I would recommend you try it before you blind purchase it. And my bottle is the older version, so I'm not sure about today's formula. For some reason, I get aldehydes from this. But I'm not sure if it does contain aldehydes. But as I said, it's a very green, floral, bitter, crisp type of scent. And it is, it, this was made for spring, I think. It's just perfect for spring. The next two are by Amouage. This one is called Figment Woman. Now, this is a, another white floral. It's a warm, spicy, tuberose, woody slightly animalic type of scent um, this is another try before you buy because not everyone likes it but for me it's just very watery kind of a floral and for me it's easy to wear but I know that I can see why some people don't really like it and see that they can't wear it it's an interesting scent and I think that you have to give it a a few wears before you judge it it's that type of scent um, so it's got like a, a unique scent to it I'll just read the notes because this one is an interesting one it's got it's got Sichuan pepper uh, saffron gardenia tuberose jasmine orange blossom lily alang alang cassia bourbon oris papyrus incense and patchouli I don't really get much incense um, otherwise it would I would not have worn it in spring so yeah I, I think it's just a nice floral that's what I get from it with a twist like it's got this, this specific kind of a scent to it that is a little bit different but yeah I like it I like it a lot <laughs> and the next amouage is Bracken for women for women not for women anyway this one is a very unique scent it is really really strange when I first smelt it I was like what on earth is this I've tried I've smelt it before and then when I really thought about it I found that it smells exactly like my grandmother's washing detergent and in a good way I'm not saying it in a bad way I'm not saying that it stinks or it's just um, um, cheap or synthetic no it's just that type of smell and this one is considered to be herbal aromatic woody fresh spicy and it has leather um so it is a very unique blend of notes that's for sure it's got wild berries um lily fern yes the fern in this fragrance i can smell i can definitely smell the fern um, it's a special scent. It's a special type of scent. Um, again, not for everyone. I recommend you try it first before you buy it. Um, but honestly, it. when I go overseas and I used to visit my grandma, this was her laundry detergent. It smells exactly like that. And it's a green, fresh uh, fern with berry type of scent. It's very unique. It's one that you must try because it's very different. To me, this is a perfect, perfect springtime fragrance. It's the Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I love this amazing scent. It's a very crisp, green, aromatic, rose, floral, woody scent. So it's a floral green type of scent and it is absolutely perfect to wear in spring. It has mint in as the notes so it's it's and and cannabis i'm just reading the notes here i didn't know that it contained cannabis but honestly guys it's a rose green basil perfection it's just perfect to wear in spring it's watery it's crisp it's clear it's just every time i wear this fragrance honestly i feel like i'm just floating on the clouds or just flying in the air it just makes me have get have that kind of feeling it's beautiful it's really really nice 
I love that it's so, so refreshing and clean. You know, it's like crispy, clean, green, rose uh, fragrance. I love it. The next one is this beautiful, beautiful, refreshing fragrance by Fragrance Dubois. It's the Oud Vert Intense. This is just so beautiful. It's so refreshing. It's so uplifting. Um, I know it says Oud in there, but it's honestly, it's more of a citrus type of scent. It's got some spices. It's got cardamom, um, vetiver, I think, coriander. Um, and it, yes, it does contain oud, um, but it's not the oud that you're thinking of. It's quite musky, quite citrusy. Um, it's got nutmeg. So it, it, it just is, just, I don't even know how to explain this. It's a citrus fragrance. So if you were to smell it, you'd probably think, oh, okay, it's just a citrus. But it's not. It's got more than that going on. And I don't really love citrus fragrances but i love this one so it's a green citrusy type of perfume with um like a i can't even see any florals listed here geranium okay with yeah i can smell geranium um very light old it's not old fragrance at all um it's a little bit sharp crisp and what else can i say it, it's just your fresh green floral citrus type of scent but it's just a really great um, quality it lasts a long time for it to be a citrus fragrance so that's a really good thing and the dry down is just beautiful it gets better in the dry down I absolutely love this so this is a great house um, if you want to discover your spring fragrances spring summer they have a huge range and honestly they have really good stuff for spring this one in particular is called trefle pur i don't know and it's a cologne absolute it's just perfect if you if you're not into floral fragrances or really heavy stuff this one is for you it's a, a green again it's a green citrus floral little bit spicy very very fresh and modern it's a modern smelling fragrance so it's not sweet whatsoever it's more of a very very fresh outdoors kind of a scent um, carefree type it's a little bit grassy a little bit green um, a little bit musky I guess but that's about it it's very simple to wear and non-offensive and it's a great one for spring if you don't like those bold floral type of fragrances. Another green beauty is Belle Respiro by Chanel. This is such a perfect springtime fragrance. It's very green, very refreshing, very easy and simple to wear, yet very elegant and uplifting. So I'll just read the notes because they are quite simple. Uh, there's green notes there are grassy notes leather which i don't really detect and flowers so it's just that it's very basic and i can only imagine me wearing this fragrance in spring honestly this is just the the perfect springtime fragrance so yeah and the leather no i don't really detect like it's not your strong leather fragrance no it's nothing like that it's more grassy and green than anything and it's a perfect one for spring my bottle is the eau de toilette so yeah next is this beautiful beautiful fragrance by Kristen Dior this is a tender poison unfortunately discontinued but if you do find it I'll just tell you a little bit of info about it just in case it's a white floral citrus tuberose sweet spicy type of fragrance it's got this honeyed well it has honey in it as a note but it's got this honeyed caramelized kind of um, sweetness about it but it's also got that refreshing side like it's got that um, that classy greenness to it but then the, the honey just goes perfectly with it somehow um, it's a, a floral a fresh floral that is 
a little bit honeyed, a little bit spicy. And although it's a little bit crisp, but it's also warm. And it has this soapy thing going on. Like it's a, a very soapy scent. And it's just amazing. I love this fragrance. Um, and the, the notes combined together just... It's a beautiful combination and you didn't think that it would work, but it does. It really does work and it's just lovely. The next two are by Creed. This one is Sed Blanc. It's just perfect for spring, I find. It's so refreshing. Um, it's clean, clean, clean. It, this whole line, this one in particular, is perfect for spring time actually creed is a house that has a lot of very simple springtime fragrances so this one is a woody aromatic fresh spicy green citrus type of scent it's very very clean guys it's just absolutely perfect for spring and i love wearing it for spring the next creed is the asian green tea this is a citrus aromatic scent, it's green, it's floral, it's woody, fresh, spicy, very, very fresh, again, um, very clean fragrance, beautiful tea, notes of tea, um, it's clean, it's very, very clean, like a fresh laundry type of scent, these two are actually. They're just very simple fragrances, nothing amazing here, but just really really perfect for spring guys these these are very clean very easy to wear um during the day just spray it on and leave the house you know it's those types of scents um like a laundry smell if you like those clean laundry type of scents you would love these or this line in, in particular this next one is by roger puffins it's the mischief this is a lovely citrus white floral green woody powdery fragrance um, if you love the Durella or, you know, that line Durissimo Durella by Kristen Dior, then you would love this one because it kind of reminds me of those types of scents. So it's your old school type of, uh, bright white florals that aren't sweet, but they've got that old school vibe to them. This is what Mischief is all about. And I absolutely love wearing it at that time. This is such a delicate, delicate beauty. The Dragonfly by Zoologist. I recently discovered this one and I wore it and I couldn't stop smelling myself. It's so super pretty. It's a fresh floral with powdery woody green notes. And it just made me feel amazing when I wore it. Honestly did. It's got this like rain notes. Um... And it, it does feel like that. It makes, it's as if, you know, you're watching the rain come down from the window and while you're wearing that, it just suits that environment. I don't know, that sounds so weird, but it just makes me feel, um, makes me think of rainy weather, but you're cozy and you're happy and it's just raining and you're loving it. It, it it just made me feel so happy. I don't know what it was about this scent. Or when I smell it from the bottle now, it actually brings back that happiness feeling. <laughs> I don't know what it is, guys. It's just so super pretty. It's got iris notes, lotus. Um, and lotus actually makes me feel that way. So maybe it's the lotus with the watery notes. I don't know. It's got a rice note as well. Um, aldehydes, it is very bright. Yes indeed um clover peony so it's got lots of watery powdery um florals in it and it's just so so pretty guys you have to try this one it's just so nice and it it smells a little bit clean as well and a little bit aquatic not too much i don't like aquatics at all but it just has that kind of cozy musky fresh, fresh, clean, rain type of scent to it. It's super, super, super pretty. Next one is by Serge Luton's. It's the Gris Claire. This is 
a little bit on the masculine side so it's not your regular sweet type of scent um, it, it's a fresh spicy woody floral it's very aromatic it's a cozy type of scent yet it works perfectly in summer because the main note is lavender so lavender has that calming kind of effect on you on me anyway um, and it has iris and incense tonka bean woodsy notes and amber so the notes kind of are pointing more towards like the colder months but this one trust me it does work in springtime because i get lavender i get a lot of lavender from it and it's nice on a crisp spring day like not when it's towards the summer month you know what I mean? It's like toward the, at the start, the beginning of spring. Um, it, it's perfect at that time. It's so grown up, like a clean grown up type of a lavender scent. And I do like to wear this all year round, but I specifically like to wear it in springtime. I don't know why. I just think lavender is great at that time. Next two I have are by Anik Guttel. Anik Guttel makes exquisite fragrances for the springtime. Oh my gosh. They're very natural smelling and she makes a lot of like fresh natural smelling florals or grassy um, ones or citrusy ones. So I love her fragrances for the springtime and I have a ton of them but I chose my two um, favorite ones to wear in spring. This is the Eau de Camille and my bottles are old so I'm not sure about today's formula. Sorry guys. This one's considered to be a floral green fragrance. So it's a white floral green fresh ozonic woody scent. It's very very grassy, very green. Like as soon as I smell it I think of fields of grass or you know um, mountains or something like that. So it's got honeysuckle, it's got jasmine, syringa, ivy, and grass. So yeah, it's quite grassy actually. It's, it smells green. So if this one had a colour, it would be green. Um, what can I say about this? It's just... It smells to me, it smells like freshly mown grass um, with maybe some flowers or just after you've mowed the lawn and it rains, you know, something like that. It just smells like that to me. The next one is this special one. It's called Mandragore. This is such a, a unique, exquisite fragrance, guys. This is a fresh, spicy, aromatic, green, citrus, soft, spicy scent. It's so, so pretty. The main note that I can smell in this is star anise and the mint, mostly, and some ginger. Um, it's got iris in there as well and sage. So it's very herbal, very natural smelling, and it, it just, it's such a happy type of fragrance, like a refreshing, because it's so refreshing and um, minty, it kind of just gives you that relaxed feeling, like chill, you know, you're chill. Or if, if you're having a rough day or something like that, spray this on and it'll make you feel so much better, trust me. And it is another perfect one for spring for me. It's on the soft side of things. So it just kind of tickles your skin, you know. You've just got these nice um, herbs on your skin. It just sits nicely on your skin. Um, and, yeah, it, it again, it's one of those when it rains kind of perfumes that you feel nice and cozy in that. It's one of those for me anyway. So, yeah. It's also got this zestiness to it, like a citrus zestiness to it. And that's what makes it perfect for spring, I think. Next is this beautiful Chanel fragrance. It's the number five Eau Premiere. And also, uh, the other flankers as well are perfect for spring. So, I just didn't put them in 
didn't include them, but I know that they are the um, the flankers of number five. But this is my favorite flanker. It's the Eau Premier in the older bottle. I love it. I love it. It's such a sparkling, beautiful fragrance, and it just screams spring, guys. It's just spring. It doesn't really smell like number five, the original, like the Eau de Parfum. It doesn't really... So if you don't like that one, you you probably you know would like this one it's sparkling it sparkles like champagne you know it's just a perfect springtime fragrance um it's got hints of number five i must say but it's just it, it is a different perfume altogether it's a fresh aldehydic floral and yeah that's about it i can't really say much more but it's just perfectly suited for spring it's just that sparkle that it has in it is just perfect for spring now if you don't like florals and you don't like green kind of scents then you want something different this one check this one out it's the la chazan perfumia um Kalina. this is a fig type of fragrance so it's not your creamy sweet type of fig fragrance it's more on the fresh side of things. So although it's like a woody, fruity, amber, spicy scent, but it's not the heavy. It's not it's it's very light. It's not the notes aren't heavy. Um it's a little bit fruity. Um and because it's, it contains fig, so the main fruit is the fig, but it's also got the pine leaves and the clary sage. So and the mandarin leaf so it's leafy and figgy at the same time with that sweetness um, from the amber and maybe the rose it's such a pretty fragrance um, it's easy to wear non-offensive it's more of a grown-up fruity scent um, and it's not too sweet it's an elegant and kind of a romantic scent um, so it's it's a lovely scent to wear in the springtime this one is Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Pure. Um, I wore this the other day. Oh my gosh. It's so bitter and so green, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It really is addictive. I couldn't stop smelling myself. And the funny thing is that I would never have thought that I would actually like this scent because it's based on the notes, you know. Um, it's got a fig leaf in it so it's a very green fig leaf um herbal kind of maybe herbal scent it really is beautiful it's got a hint of sweetness um but as i said it's bitter and more herbal it's got the vetiver in it um labdanum um what else so, orris butter, um, I wouldn't say it's a citrus-based perfume because it's not. It's more of your herbal type of scent with that fig leaf. It's very classy and expensive smelling, So, and it does last a long time on the skin. The next beauty is Neroli Boheme by Carolina Herrera. This is from the Confidential line. This one is a citrus white floral. It's such a fresh, beautiful scent. Um, the neroli takes over. Um, it's basically just a neroli scent with some citrus and slight florals, maybe jasmine. Um, very fresh, very clean, beautiful, beautiful. It's airy, it's um, narcotic white floral, but not too narcotic, like it doesn't smell poopy or anything like that it's just a zesty citrusy neroli scent and absolutely perfect for the springtime another great neroli scent is by Guerlain it's the neroli ultra noir this is more of a citrus uh, green white floral very fresh as well um, it doesn't smell as dense as the neroli boheme um, so it's very light uplifting neroli fragrance uh, citrusy it's got some depth to it though a little bit of depth because it's got the myrrh and the benzoin um, oak moss 
earthy notes, but it's very, uh, it's like a flirty, neroli kind of a fragrance. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like, it's easy to wear. I don't know. It's just flirty and easy to wear and just perfect for spring day. Um, whereas Neroli Bohemia probably wear it j on an evening or something. Yeah, but both are really nice Neroli fragrances. Next is this beauty. It's the Impressions de Giverny by Fort and Manley. This is a botanical garden type of scent for me. So it smells like the botanical gardens. It's sweet, it's fun to wear, it's, um, you know, like a botanical garden floral um modern it's not like the old school type of flowers so it's very simple but it's you can see that it's got a lot of um interesting notes in there it's combined really well it's creamy it's rich and but at the same time it's not offensive so it's not going to offend anyone if you wear it um if anything they'll probably be like oh you smell really good what are you wearing so it just gives me that botanical garden type you know a feeling so next one we have histoire de parfum 1873 so this one's a combination of fresh citruses like spicy fresh citruses it's very citrusy it's a citrus gourmand because it has notes of caramel and vanilla so that's quite interesting. So you can imagine all these citruses, like um, fruits, like grapefruit and limes and tangerine and orange and lemon and all of these zesty fruits. Put a little bit of flowers in there, maybe oh, it's got lavender in there, I can see, um, but I can't really detect much lavender. Lily of the Valley, and then you've got your caramel and vanilla as well. So it's a perfect blended, it's a perfect blend of citruses with a little bit of that gourmand aspect to it and it's just absolutely perfect for spring. I have five more guys, I'm sorry that this video is taking so long, I am sorry, but I'm leaving my favourite one to, the, to last. Okay, I'll do these three together because they come in these little cute packaging. So the first one is Toca Florence. And the second one is Diptyque L'Ombre Danse Le. And the third one is Ambergreen by, who is this by? I don't even know. <laughs> Oliver and Co. So the first, the Toka one, Florence, is a, a, a fruity white floral. It's a little bit aquatic, but it's one that I can handle. It's a big white floral this one so if you like white florals you would like this one it's a really nice fruity white floral the L'Ombre Dance Le is a very interesting and unique one it's a leafy green aromatic fruity soft um, spicy rose type of scent and if you want a full review of this one in particular um, Ouch 110 has an excellent review he's one of my favorite reviewers so go check him out he has um, done a review on this one and that's what got me um, you know thinking I should buy a bottle so I went for the this size so in case I don't like it and I love it so I will be getting another bottle and the amber green is very interesting actually because this one has a set of unusual notes uh, and they work. They work absolutely beautifully. So it's got ambroxan, amyl salicylate, no idea what that is, basil, coriander, amber, fig leaf, galbanum, grass, green pepper, green mandarin, gaiac wood, hedione, um, oris, and shiso. So I have no idea what a few of these notes are, but when I sprayed this on the other day, I was like, wow, this is so, so interesting. It almost smells like it has tobacco in it, um, like a green tobacco or fresh tobacco, but it doesn't. But it's just such an interesting scent. It's not sweet at all. And I do smell that green um, capsicum. We say green capsicum, green pepper, whatever. But I do smell that and it's just so leafy and green, but it's not fresh, crisp green. It's 
it's more of a spicy darker kind of green I don't know it's really unique and I'm really loving it second last one guys we're nearly done it's the Douglas Hanant by uh, Robert Piguet oh this scent is so pretty if you have tried um fracas fracas I don't know how you pronounce it if you've tried that one from him and you love it but you can't it's too heavy to wear in spring then you should try this one and wear it in spring because it's like the little sister um it's a delicate but it's bold at the same time but it's not as bold as for car but it's got that same kind of tuberose bubble gummy sweet white fl flowers in it um so so pretty if you like tuberose you will love this one it's absolutely beautiful i love wearing this in spring because it's a happier fracas it's like a happy version of that or a younger version you can say and yeah i like it and this is the last one guys it's the penhaligons ostara this was made for spring. This is my absolute favorite perfume to wear in spring because I can't see myself wearing it any other time, honestly. This is a perfect, like if you're looking for that one perfect fragrance of spring, go for Ostara. Um, it's just perfect. It's perfect for spring, guys. It's just spring in a bottle. It's a green, so it's got a bit of everything, actually. It's a little bit green, it's a little bit floral, it's a little bit spicy and aromatic. Um, so it's considered to be a floral green and it's got that beautiful sweetness, perfect amount of sweetness because I can see that it's got beeswax and vanilla. It's a bit of everything. It's a combination of everything, guys, and I really, really really recommend this fragrance in particular for spring because i think or i've heard many people say actually that it's their favorite springtime fragrance um and it's just so bright and uplifting and just makes you feel so happy it's like you wear this fragrance when the sun is out that's it <laughs> if the sun is out you wear this fragrance it makes you feel sunny and happy and cheerful and it's just the bottle and the packaging and the color of the liquid is just absolutely perfect for the scent it's just spring in a bottle and that concludes my video guys so i really hope you've enjoyed this video um i hope that you've found or you're going to find a love from any of these that I've mentioned. If you have tried any of these, let me know what you think about them or let me know what your favorite springtime fragrances are. I don't think, um, I don't think I've mentioned all of my springtime fragrances, but that will take forever if I did. So I've just gotten these ones. These are like my favorite, favorite ones to wear in springtime. Um, just another, on another note, guys, I really want to thank you all for just your comments and your constant, um, love on my channel. Guys, I would never have been here if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much. I really, really enjoy reading your comments. Um, I do probably sometimes take a while to respond because sometimes I just get really busy with life. So... So I do apologize for that, but seriously, guys, thank you so much. I You just make my day. Some comments are just so, like, they make me happy. So thanks for that. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.